What's good everybody? Welcome back to another epi. First off, your boy looks like shit right now, okay? Number two, I kind of feel like shit. Number three, big shout out to everybody who copped from the most recent drop. Now, if you head on over to the website, there is still some stock left over from the last drop. Everything here is ready to go. Shipping uh, will be next day. So for everyone that did cop from the most recent drop, um, shipping is gonna be going out actually today and tomorrow. And then for my next drop, I'm bringing back the boxing shit. So for all my boxing supporters and people that are into that aesthetic, you know, just know that that's gonna be included in the next drop. And it was kind of funny, you know, I was, I was sitting on the toilet this morning and I was thinking like, hey, you know, my two favorite sports are boxing and tennis, which are both considered the loneliest sports in the world. So I decided, you know what, I should title my next drop. I was thinking of titling it like, or like something to do with like lonely sports drop or something you know because i'm gonna include some tennis and some boxing stuff in there but if you guys have any suggestions you know leave it down below in the comments but i hope you guys enjoy this video it was a christmas vlog and you guys know it's always a fun time when it's family time what up guys all right so i am heading back to toronto tomorrow to see my family for christmas and everything is kind of fucked up right now as you guys know because covid is just literally taking a whole new life form of its own with that being said uh, i still got to see my family so so tomorrow i'll be heading home to see my family back home in toronto as you can see here pretty much all packed all my other stuff here is just packed and ready to go what up guys all right so i'm just uh in the lounge heading to toronto pre uh boarding the airplane not even having to take a shit but just mental confirmation that i don't want to take a shit before boarding the plane because i don't want to take a shit on the plane right now but freaking customs line was actually absurd dude i don't know what's up with this whole like canadian customs thing but they gotta figure that out toronto we're back home pulling up family vlog christmas vlog baby who's that nai nai hi i guess snooki uh, back yeah. in Toronto with the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what's the first stop right now? Well, first stop, home obviously. Second stop is like, you know, gotta show up the local support, going to a Korean place. Okay, so yeah. this is apparently a new Korean place. How did you find it? Well, I, I, I eat there all the time. And last time I took Jet there, I just said, oh, I really love this. Oh, okay. So we're trying out a new Korean place today. We got the uh, what is this? The chicken club. Chicken club sandwich with, uh, with the truffle fret and the hot sauce and the oil. Thank you, bro. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. You signed that for you. Yeah. So. Fired up chicken club. <sighs> Fucking boy is hungry. Korean food is mid. Mmm. 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 Absolutely destroyed that fucking chicken club. Holy fuck, that was. Pretty mid, but it was fucking fire. You know how long it has been since I've had a fucking Coca Cola. Look at that free free advertisement that Coca Cola just got. This is one of those like fuck it like you know you're just like wipe the can and da da da. People get all weirded out by drinking from the can, but I'm just like yo fuck it. Mmm 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 mmm. Now we will sit down at the computer and we will lock in. Let's allow ourselves to begin with uh you know us running the numbers it's been a while since we've ran some numbers here let's go over your database and see that clearly <sighs> indication that your s5 sector doesn't seem to want to allow itself to distinguish itself between the <laughs> the distance of the transibula of the transibula the epicenter of the center of the core <laughs> your boy is locked in on fucking crunch in some fucking numbers bro all right so if you guys are interested in uh you know just how to crunch you know bitcoin you know what i mean and fucking ethereum and bro trust me this fucking bro ethereum 
bro. Like, I'm not trying to hear that, bro. All right? I'm trying to fucking get to the gym and get fucking yoked. Dude, that cock is really good, dude. 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 We'll menu tonight. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm there for you. Thank you, bro. So that's your warm cookies, oat yeah. milk, and two aqua powers. Thank you, bro. Appreciate Thanks that. Thank you, so much. Thank you, bro. Thank you so Thank much, you. Mr. Thank you, bro. Take Have care. a good night, man. Thank you. Honestly, like, you guys see what time it is, man. I just, I feel like I'm at a point where I'm kind of just like, you know what? It's fucking Christmas holidays, and I'm going the fuck in. All right, guys, before we go ahead and continue this video, I just want to give a big shout out to Green Chef. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. All right, so Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well and easy and affordable with plans to fit every single kind of lifestyle. Recipes are super easy to follow step by step. Every single thing is hand picked and delivered right to your front door. Ingredients come perfectly measured and pre-portioned. And the great thing about it too is that you can switch up your meal options whenever you're ready to try some new things. With Green Chef's wide variety of high quality clean ingredients, like their organic, sustainably sourced produce, you can feel great about what you're eating and how you got it to your table. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of plastic use in every box and 100% of their carbon footprint and emissions. It's super convenient and easy. Score limited time savings on delicious, chef curated recipes featuring organic veggies and high quality proteins delivered to your door contact free. Green Chef makes it easy with dinner options that work around your lifestyle. Recipes include pre-made measured sauces, dressings and spices so you can get more flavor in less time. Remember, Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and dishes for a variety of lifestyles, keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those who simply want a little more balance. So go to www.greenchef.us slash Levi Bentley 10. You guys can use my code. And trust me when I tell you this, yes, you get 10 free meals plus free shipping on your first box. All right, that's www.greenchef.us slash Levi Bentley 10. Make sure you guys use my code and you will get 10 free meals plus free shipping in your first meal box. Make sure you guys go check it out. And yeah, thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring this video on with the rest of the content. All right, we are doing Christmas at the crib with the fam, but this year we're not doing gifts because it's really, sometimes Christmas isn't always about gifts. It's just about spending good quality family time together, yeah, right? Absolutely, just like doing nothing. It's just like the energy in the room is important. Right? Well, I gotta be a little bit of a positive kind of like, you know, simple energy too, right? Some people hate each other. When what is that? Spending time together. I marinated a cot because I know you're home. I got some cot marinade. I'm wondering if I should go do a little workout before my dinner. If you just want to like wake up a little bit, you know? Yeah, if you feel like doing that, go ahead, son. I already had our Christmas morning, Christmas crepes, my mom made, but I'm gonna go hang out with my baby right now. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh. Oh. Hi, baby. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, okay, baby. We can snuggle. Okay, baby. Okay. Come on, Dodie. Come on, Dodie. Come on, Dodie. Oh. Look, nestling her face in. Oh. Dodie, don't do that. Because you actually get a boner, Dodie. Oh, he does? Yeah, yeah, don't let, don't let Ned boat Dodie. Apparently Dodie's not allowed to help Nyla because he actually gets a boner. <laughs> actually getting a real boner. What are you rushing about? Because I, I have people coming for dinner. What? It wasn't on my list, it can be Did on you? yours. Yeah. Vegetable, got, oh, we got all kinds of vegetables, beautiful. Do you think he's over preparing right now, Dad, or no? He's just doing things that I d didn't want for Christmas dinner. And now he's trying to make it seem like it's so, so delicious. Dad, is it too much um, stuff that you're making, or what's going on No, here? easy, easy stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys, you know, deal with the Christmas uh, preparations right now because we, you know, Tensions are a little bit high between the parents. I love you guys all so much. You guys look all so cute together. Hi, Toadie! <laughs> Dodie. Anyways, y'all pulling back up to the hotel, yeah? Pulling back up to the hotel, yeah? Pulling up. Bathroom the same, as you guys remember from the last Toronto video. By the way, 
Your boy always had to toe in that Trinity. This is for my OG fans. You guys would know that this is one of my like first drops that I ever did. The Millennium piece right here. And it's honestly anyone who didn't cop one of these, these are slept on like crazy. I would actually do a re-release for these if I knew that you guys were gonna cop, but like these sold out. It took a couple of days actually for them to sell out. They didn't even sell out right away. And I just was like, yo, what the fuck? You guys are sleeping on these. I would drop them again if you guys like really wanted them. And I would actually really like to re-release them. It's just, I'm not trying to re-release them if people aren't gonna buy them. So there's like a full raised ink puff print on the back too the room is just a little bit smaller see like it's not as long here but it has a balcony which is what I like you know I'm gonna do some cardio and steam all right so I'm on the treadmill right now and there's this workout that Tarek for those of you obviously who've been watching my videos know who Tarek is one of my best friends he gave me this treadmill workout like years ago I want to say like four years ago and basically you start with your incline at six and now your speed stays at six the whole time, okay? Now every minute you increase the incline by two until you get to 16, then 16, you do the same thing, you go 14, 12, 10, eight, six, all the way back down with 30 seconds rest in between. I used to be dead after this. I haven't done this workout in four years. So we're gonna see how I feel. Let's get it going, baby. We're still going, but I hit that 16. Definitely feels easier compared to what it used to feel like. Bro, that is so weird. I'm not joking, I just jumped off the treadmill. Obviously I'm just huffing and puffing a bit. When I used to do this, I'd be like this on the treadmill at the end. <sighs> like dying. And I'm just, I feel good. Just goes to show you like the level of shape I'm in compared to what it used to be. <sighs> God damn. Christmas workout complete. Feeling a little puffy, but you know, so how when you be stacking on them calories for Christmas? <sighs> Let's go baby. All right, so I just finished my steam, about to get changed and go head on over to my family's crib for Christmas dinner. But there's just something that I want to quickly talk to you guys about. You know, social media is obviously a really great place for people to share ideas and to, you know, post cool videos. Even, you know, this time of year, Christmas, it's amazing to see online, like everyone coming together with their families and exchanging gifts and stuff like that. And I just kind of want to quickly touch on the other side, which is, you know, the fact that just me reminding you guys that, you know, social media slash Instagram or whatever you want to call it. it you know that stuff is always just a highlight reel and that there are a lot of people out there who either don't have families or you know maybe you're feeling alone even me like I have an amazing family and I'm close with my family but even like you know as I'm getting older I'm not living in Toronto anymore Christmas doesn't feel the same you know but at the same time I'm so fortunate and blessed to obviously have my family but I just want to let everyone out there know who maybe didn't celebrate Christmas this year with their family that you're not alone and it's okay and everyone's time will come and that's like you know I feel like a lot of the times people who even feel alone or maybe those who don't have family they think to themselves like oh my god like I'm just alone and everyone is exchanging gifts with their beautiful family and I just wish I had a family and stuff like that you know there's still time you know if you meet the right person and you can always eventually one day build a family of your own in the meantime guys like whoever is watching this it's really important to just remember that your time is coming you know like if your time hasn't come yet whether it's career wise whether it's building a family whether it's just you know getting a break of some sort just remember to keep Keep working and this is what I remind myself all the time because trust me you guys think like oh if you watch my shit and like I have the fucking perfect family and you know I have this and that like I'm still working on trying to figure things out you know I just remind myself every single day when I wake up in the morning and I get up before sunrise and I start my morning walk with my dogs and then I come back and then I go for my first workout and I come back and I cook myself a healthy meal or maybe go for my second workout. Every single thing that I do in my life that I know is good for my overall health, whether it's mentally or physically or even good for my work, remember that on those days where maybe it doesn't even feel like it's paying off, it's a slow and steady process and that your time will come. Just keep pushing and doing the best that you can every single day, whether it's being kind to others, taking care of yourself nurturing yourself focusing on the things that you need to do so just remember guys I know we all wish that things could be perfect and sometimes you know even myself I can get like down on myself or I can get in my head and I'm thinking like fuck I wish it were like this or just things just don't feel the same how they used to everything that we do has a purpose you guys can carve out your own way and create your own path you know and be you like don't try to be the next someone else remember that you are you and you are different than everyone else and you are 100% unique and authentic compared to every single one else out there okay so um, keep your head up chest up keep going guys Merry Christmas Let's go pull up to the family's crib right now, and I'm gonna have a little Christmas dinner. Gang. Wow, that looks really good. Goddamn. 
Cut your turkey, chef. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. When you get it, I'm ready. Okay, take it up. Yeah. Ah. Do you open the turkey from the front or no? From, no. You open it from the ass. Open wow. the turkey from the ass, chef. Oh, okay. it's, it's, it's fine.